Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, or hopefully a slightly neater version of it. And this is based off of this one, which clearly says on the front, to mum. So um, we're in the middle of August, or coming towards the end of August, but towards the end of July, towards the end of the summer term, Oliver, who's my 10-year-old son, he and his classmates were taught by a teacher how to make bags out of, well, it was printer paper, photocopy paper. And he was terribly excited to have been taught how to make it. So he came home and immediately made one. And he actually tried to make it in cardstock, got a little frustrated. And I said, well, you need paper. And our paper is a tiny, possibly a little bit thick for it. As you can see, it's popped open, but it's been sat here for a month. But he was terribly excited. He said, mum, 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 you're going to make a video, aren't you? So I went, yeah, OK, I'll have a go. So he showed me how to make it and then... I then made myself a version and I'm going to show you how to make it too. But I have to say, hats off to the teacher who taught 30, 10 year olds how to make bags out of photocopy paper. So he told me I needed a rectangle, but I'm going with a square because, you know, I like to be contrary. And this is the one I came up with. Um, I think I know where I went a little bit wrong on the sides. It decided to peel itself open. But anyway, let's have a go. So I've got my sheet of paper and I'm first of all, I'm eyeballing it and I'm actually looking from my angle, I'm actually looking down at this bit to see that I've got an overlap, an overlap big enough for me to put a strip of adhesive on. So, and again, I'm lining it up down here at the bottom and I'm just gonna put a crease with my fingers like that so it's not one that needs a bone folder not that i feel anyway so i'm going to put my tear and tape down here and simple as this bag is and by the fact that like i say they taught a class of 30 10 year olds how to make it i have kind of come up with there are a few things so this is my, essentially it's a tube that's flattened. Now here you might think, well, that's all I need to do. You actually need to fold up quite a lot more than you think you're going to. So that is, that's probably about a quarter of the way up. I think 16, 20, yeah, probably about a quarter of the way up. One, yeah, maybe even a little bit more than that. So that's quite far folded over. Oh, that's too too much that's a bit better because you need to be able to go like that and flatten it okay it looks they yeah, I have seen them okay I went I admit I went and had a look on Pinterest and they make it look super simple but there are sciencey bits to it so what I've done is I folded this bit so it goes beyond my crease there and the same there so that's my center point so I wanted to go further there and there so I'm going to stick some glue under here I think they use Pritt stick for their ones <laughs> I think you can get away with Pritt stick with photocopy paper don't know that you could on designer series paper um, and like I say, ours is is thicker than the average paper because it's you know it's it's high quality. Um, that beautiful origami paper would work. It's thinner, um, so that tends to be quite good for stuff like this. But you know, we'll have a bash with this. So Oliver's bag has got creases down the side and he showed me how to make it and you fold over at this point so where I've got a diamondy sort of shape going on he said that's where you fold it over okay and this is where I'm going to get my bone folder because you know I want the knee to look so I'm going to go one way and the other way get a good strong crease and then again I'm looking for this sort of diamond point and I'm going to fold there and 
and go back on itself that way. And then really, all you need to do then is put your hand inside. And what we've got now are three score lines, one there, one in the middle and one there. So I've got all my bag out and then you just push that middle one in. Oops. And that's where I got my first score score line a bit wrong, so we'll, we'll gloss over that. But that is my bag. Now that is quite the different shape to this one. That's because I didn't go I, yeah, I, I folded mine round much, much further, too far, which is why I've had to fold it under here. But that, do you know what? If you don't have a scoring tool, aside from the fact that why don't you have a scoring tool? But if you don't have a Simply Scored, that is not a bad way to make a bag. That's not bad at all. So, he, <laughs> when Oliver wanted to make his own, I let him have free run of my pattern play pattern party the free hostess stamp um hostess paper pack so he chose this one and he went black and white and he's actually colored all of these bits in i think he was making a funny face so that's eyes and eyebrows and then it says to mum and look he's even signed the back oliver donald 2021 that's because his oldest brother signs all of his stuff um which is really cute so i'm just going to go with simple decoration like oliver did because this is oliver's bag And this beautiful gold ribbon. And then I'm going to use, because this is the Blackberry, um, Blackberry Beauty designer series paper, and I'm a bit addicted to the ephemera that's part of the same suite. And look, I've run out of everything because I've almost used it all up. What have I got on this one? Have I got any? Okay, I've got some flowers here. And... I've got the acorns, but I don't think I want those. I'm going to take these gold flowers. And... Oh, look, I see I've almost... I've run, look, I can't replicate this because I've used it all up. <laughs> oh, well. Um... I'm going to take that one, I think. Yeah, this one I had. My beautiful owl. I'm just looking to my left. I think I've, I'm doing some more filming with this next week. <laughs> I might not have enough left. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to turn them all over the wrong way. And I'm going to use mini glue dots because this is very small and spindly and I just want to get my glue on and hidden out of view so oh there's a courier turning up it's probably for me And I'm going to pop all of those on because they're very lovely. And I'm going to say, before that doorbell goes, big, huge thank you to my Oliver who showed me how to make that one. I came up with that one and this one. So a neater finish than this one. Folded it. I didn't fold this one deep enough at the bottom and I folded it way too wide going round. I actually prefer this. I hope you do too. Oh, DBD's driving off. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. And I hope you make a bag too. Bye.